Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Let's see what we have for you today concerning love. What do we have for the sign of Sagittarius please? Messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please, concerning love. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius, concerning love. Oh. Here we go. Ten of Swords, there's an ending here. Seven of Pentacles, wow, full card, I see new beginnings here, yeah, Nine of Swords to Ten of Swords, stressful situation, coming to the point where a decision has to be made, and uh, I can see you walking away from your present situation, yeah, there's a choice here, Seven of Cups, walking away with, you know, taking what you can and just walking away things haven't developed how you thought the person you're dealing with is in five of one's energy kind of like mixed messages here I do the seven of one's here I do see some challenges between you two There is love here though. There's definite love and you know it. You're sure of it. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they want to look after you. It's kind of like coming into your comfort zone. But I say that the present situation, I feel, is coming to an end. You intuitively know it. You know, you're very, very switched on. You're very intelligent, Sag. And I feel you're not revealing all. You know, she, she's, she's got the noon under here. You know, and the moon's all about keeping things, certain things hidden. But I do see some discontent here. Yeah. I can see you walking away from this. This is a general reading, take it out, it resonates, but... You know, magician. I can see you've learnt a lot from this situation and it's not giving you what you want. It's not emotionally fulfilling you. Yeah, there's new beginnings. Something ending, something new beginning. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Knight of Pentacles, I, I, I'm getting the feeling with this, you know, you know what's wrong in your life, you know how to fix it, but I, I feel there's a, there's a resistance here, progress in your present situation is very, very slow, and I feel it's, you know, there's a lot of stress here with it, there's some sleepless nights some anxiety yeah it's it's been taken its it's taken its toll on you you you're tired now you know you want to put this ten of wands down you don't want to shoulder this responsibility anymore yeah making the choice to walk I feel there's a message here though, but I, I feel that's more about you deciding to, you know, it's just become too much, you want to change, you've got the ten of swords here, the ten of wands, you want to change, 
you're tired of all carrying all these responsibilities. You've been battling a long, long time. Yeah. I feel there's, there's a much more stable environment coming into your life. You know, as, as one situation ends, a new one comes in. And I'm getting here one more try. With this nine of wands, ten of pentacles, one more try on a relationship. And I don't mean the relationship necessarily that you're in now. I, I think this is another person. I'm getting you you willing to go one more try, but there's the reservations about it. And this person knows what they're up against. Whoever it is you're dealing with, they know what they're up against. But they, five and six. I feel here they, they want to get together with you, but they, they've, they've been up against the situation that you're in and kind of waiting for you to make the move. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, there's a there's a definite challenge here. I feel things will turn around though. There's the seven of swords, seven of wands here, and you know that's that's bringing in balance, breaking down the barriers, actually talking and leaving these these past walls behind. It's kind of a dropping of the barriers. It's, I'm getting it's quite a, it's a situation that you've, the situation you're in, you've kind of been delaying it, you know, delaying this decision. And it's like you're, you've come to the point where you realise that you must do something because you can't carry on, you know, with it. And you want to move into a better space. Now, the person you're dealing with could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, air sign, but there's a nurturing energy about this person. There is. And I can see see you taking a, di a new direction and I can see you moving into much better times, a much better, a much more comfortable zone and leaving this this heavy energy behind you I feel to connect with this this other person there is some legalities and certain amount of you know the future will need a plan type energy you know the king of swords is dealing with authority you know and if there's you know, if you're living in different countries, if this is long distance, these will be the sort of hurdles you'll have to overcome. And um, for a very small percentage of you, relocation, immigration, dealing with airline tickets, you know, solicitors, all these sorts of things. It depends on your situation. But I can see you two coming together very much more in a very much more stable environment. Let's let's see what this I'm gonna pull one more card. Yeah. It's kind of like following your heart. Talking things out. 
face-to-face conversations, you know, telling them how you actually feel. And kind of, I'm getting a sense of relief from all this. Kind of like, thank God that's over. Now I can finally follow my heart and now I know which direction I'm going in. No more confusion. This is what I want. That's where I want to go. That's where I want to be. I hope that's helped, Saj. I feel it's a new direction and a new area you're coming into. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.